you can see we've got a nice warthog family so talking about leopards this would be good bait for leopards there is the adult female a young male and then all the piglets that are coming out in this group we see at Chelapan most days they love it here they come down they wallow a little bit in the water they drink and they have a little feed on the green grass and look at them all trotting with tails up isn't that cool <laughs> there's something funny about watching warthogs run around I love when their tails go up and they just like trot after each other it's very cool let's go forward a bit and see if maybe they're gonna go for a little wallow We've been very lucky this morning. We've seen a lot, Seb. Yeah, We've been very, very fortunate. I know Ali's had a tough time of it, and she's manned the fort very well and tried to find all kinds of other things. So I'm hoping her luck does change. And, well, there's a whole line of Warthog bottoms that I can see from this angle. <laughs> They're all just having a little drink and running around, and their bottoms are all facing us, but now they've realized that we're actually behind them. But there we go. Warthog bottoms and fleeing piglets that is the story of chela pan this morning sounds like a nursery rhyme of sorts warthog bottoms and fleeing piglets at chela pan dr seuss may Seuss maybe could do something like that although it's not rhyming enough for him now you can see the female there you can actually see her teats hanging down and that's how we know it is a female more than a male just from this angle So, oh, Laura Moore, you say pretty warthogs. They are. I like warthogs, and particularly when they're young. They're super cute, and they run around, and they've got a bit of spunk and energy about them. So I quite like warthogs, and I quite like watching them, particularly when they come down to water, and especially if we maybe see them start to roll around and have a really good swim and wallow. That always makes me entertained when you just see legs in the air and kind of tail going everywhere, and their manes getting covered in mud. It's quite entertaining. Now, I wonder if this is James the other day found a warthog female with extra set of warts, which is normally only seen on the males. And I wonder if this is her. I can't see nicely when she turns around. Hopefully she will turn around for us. But you can see there's a small extra set of warts there, just between the eyes and the tusks. And so I'm hoping that we can see her turn around and we can see if this is that female, because it's very unusual to see. Generally, that would be an, a way to indicate male versus female, but it seems in this case that are you the female oh i can't see the monitors do light looks like a female doesn't look like there's any testicles of course now there would be a piglet in the way that i can't see what's going on can you move please yes you please please no doesn't want to listen typical teenager is on its own mission there we go no now not you as well <laughs> It seems like we're destined not to determine what the sex is of this particular water because the piglets are all well blocking the view, so to speak. So, as one leaves, another one comes in. Yes, you lot are naughty, all of you. Off you go, come on. Come on. No. No. <laughs> this is impossible. <laughs> well,. I'm being tormented by these warthogs. They seem to not be wanting to show whether it's male or female. Maybe it's embarrassed and it doesn't want to show us its rear end. There we go, it's coming out. It looks like a female, there we go. So I think this is the same, same way, same female that James saw. There we go. Now take care, you're wondering what in makes the tail go up is it bones or muscles well it's muscles um, there's a folk tale actually here in Africa and my tracker used to tell me and tell guests about it often is the reason their tail goes up is because their skin is so tight on their body that when they run through the grass and all the grass seeds are hitting them in the eyes they close their eyes and that causes the skin to pull tight and then the tail flicks back up so that's the little folklore around here in, in the cultural tale that kids are told but it's actually just a muscle contraction that takes place and that pulls the tail upwards and up into an antenna position that we see there right well we're going to leave our warties that 